Hello once again, everybody, and thank you for tuning in to AIW's The Card is Going to Change. Before we get into this week's episode, of course, we want to give a thank you to our sponsors that help us bring the show to you for free each and every week wherever you download our podcast. Thanks to Angelo's Pizza. If you've never had Angelo's Pizza at our show or if you've only ever had their pizza and you want to try more, head over to Angelo's on Madison Avenue in Lakewood for all of their delicious meals aside from the award-winning pizza. Thanks also to Pollyanna DIY. If you've purchased one of our custom pins in the past, those came from Pollyanna DIY. They could do the same for you, and they have more for purchase items there. So check them out. Thanks, of course, to Smart Mark Video, who records all of our live events so that you can purchase it, whether you want to watch it back or if you missed the show live, purchase on DVD or a digital MP4 download. And thanks, of course, to independentwrestling.tv, who streams our previous shows. They've got all sorts of AIW archive shows there for you to watch. Sign up using the code ABSOLUTE to get a free 20-day trial and watch not only AIW, but plenty of other promotions as well. So on this week's show, uh, we're going to kind of get into the week that was uh, when we had the AIW Slumber Party Massacre leading up and all the shenanigans that took place outside of the actual show itself uh, during that week uh, inside Jersey in general, and not just so Jersey we're going to do a separate episode. On we will the do card. a separate episode covering the card itself of Slumber Party Massacre. Uh, joining us on this week's episode of Huge Roundtable, we have Doctor Daniel C. Rockingham is here. Bartender Nick Sanka joining us because he was hanging out in Jersey. Uh, Wes Barkley is here, as always. AIW owner John Thorne, and just back from last week's pee break, Alex Worldwide Keller. It was uh, a wild odyssey. Until he's got a pee again. So uh, while we have him here, might as well mention that he is here. My name is Steve Guy, your moderator of sorts. And uh, gentlemen, it was, a, it was a wild week. What a week it was. It was a fun week. I guess let's start of leading up in into this. Everybody kind of traveled in at various uh, points in time. Yeah, I think everyone came separately. Almost. Yeah, we had the 15-person the van that ended up being a blessing in disguise that we had a handful of students drop out because we, there's no Bastards. way we would have fit that many people plus all the equipment. Don't justify their behavior. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm not saying it, it's a happy accident. How many people came home in that van? <laughs> way less than went there. Enough yeah. that I was able to uh, curl is, up in the back and have a little sleep. Well, I slept the entire way home and I was never happier. Which is what we'll get into. It's, it turns into the weirdest trip ever. So let's start, uh, let's start with this uh, because... Geez. Going into this, how many students were going to make the trip? Because you guys, you know, I like went with, with my crew. We did our, our little thing because we go every year. But you guys had a house for like twenty people. It starts with Thorn is, and the, in the van with a bunch of like I think it was like at this point it was like twelve people and the stuff. But Thorn's like we got to make sure we bring the magazines at WrestleCon because they always kill. We got to bring the ring stuff, like because we were going to bring our own instead of using the collective stuff. The AIW canvas, canvas yeah. that we painted. We've got the turnbuckles. We've got look great by the way. Thank you. Me it and Dom. did look great. Yeah, shout out to you and Dom. It was it, who, who it came out really nice. That. Yeah, and uh, we made sure we had like everything. All the DVDs we had. Uh, we cleaned out the whole storage unit with all the merch and it's all in my living room. And also, and, real quick, while we mention that, who did the apron for us? We had our own custom uh, front oh, card from, from fucking uh, Ronald Two Legs. Ronald Two Legs. He got there two banners made. We hung yeah. one up in the entranceway, and I had one big banner left when we got in the building. I looked, and I said, well, looks like we're hanging on the apron. Shout out to old Ronald Two Legs. But continue, Dr. Dan. Sorry. We had that, all the merch. We categorized it and you know wrote down exactly how much of how many DVDs we had with a, a shocking number of uh, missing T-shirts that were oh. were ordered and then missing somehow for six months and all all of a sudden showed up in a, a box shoved in the corner. So Which shirts were these? The, the shark. shark shirts and the skull shirts. Oh. It was... Uh, I was frustrated and was ready to just start throwing stuff through my windows. So how many people were supposed to travel in with you originally? Like 13. And uh, we're three days out or a week out? Week. When we find out. And all of a sudden people are asking some real fucking (laughs) should have been asked like months ago asked questions. Wait, we have to stay for the whole time? Uh, What what do you mean we have a show? Wait, this is work? Which reminds reminds me, nobody has still paid me for the Airbnb. I just want to throw that out there. I I did it. I got me. I got it. Well, I paid him. (laughs) It's sitting on my counter. Yeah. Well, I'll be be collecting. 
I'll be collecting. Yeah, Nick Snaker gave me a free ride once. He got one back. <laughs> <laughs> I got you back Saturday night, brother. All, All right. So everybody starts dropping out, basically. Of so these then, we'll, then there were seven. Wow. Which, uh, the thing that frustrated me was, you know, uh, the you have to come fully staffed. Right. Like it's not like the collective has a staff uh, working for you. It's they did, like they end up. They did have some people, but not like working the door. You need door people. You need merch people. You need like cleanup. And, you need fucking crowds. What's funny control. is out of the people that came in the van, like I was like kind of on the show, but still like helping. We had worldwide and weird body who were going to be like the floor managers, and then we had Tuan and Frankie who are like. They're, I'm not saying like they're competent enough to be like, hey, go do this and they'll get it handled. But then, other, and then like, out, and then Justice and Bev. So out of the car, only not, maybe half of them were able to do stuff while the show was actually going on. I think Bev did all he needed to do. <laughs> no, we we're talking about like, for the, oh, yeah, the show. Yeah, yeah. Staffed reason. Like, like no, yeah. Uh, I'd say next year uh, we definitely got to invest in some fucking walkie talkies because we got some we walkie talkies. But we- well, we fucking need to like actually implement and equip them because like I was like getting like messages from who you says that like, we're even quit. doing this again next year. First of all, you're, oh, you're not talking about like refs and like Thorn community. You're no, talking I'm about, talking like like, like, like just just like grabbing uh, somebody to like do something and then like you get like a text like 20 minutes later because Boost Mobile baby and uh, if there's like so you're saying that there should be a. A separate set of walkies on a different channel of the for the staff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just to like be like, hey, so and so needs so and so, blah gotcha. blah blah. And then also even at normal shows, it is hair pulling to be like, hey, go fix but the it's turnbuckle. A much yeah. space, and we like know what the space is. But like you know versus I mean. like fucking like this. Yeah, time you couldn't around. walk in that place. Like you couldn't get from one side of the room to but the other. Especially where we fucking sold that room. Luckily out. enough, there was a carload that actually did make a trip out. Blessings 24 to you, hours shitheads. round trip to make sure there at least was some type of student presence of shout out to them yeah. and yep. shout out to Pedro who drove and pa- in and, and out. then yeah the Pedro Tom Dunn and Matt, Matt Wadsworth, Wadsworth Matt Wadsworth car the dad mobile yeah, yeah they they came in and out oh, with, with Josh Bishop with Joshua with Bishop. Josh. I gave Josh my laptop when I realized we didn't need it to run music and I'm like protect us your life and make sure this gets home <laughs> Joshua Bishop needed three dads but he still made wild decisions. Uh, more than that, the actual card. But so then we we finally we get there. We all arrive. Well, no, so, you fly. Yeah. Well, you go Wednesday. Yeah. So I went. I went Wednesday. Well, first off, I go in that before I even leave. I go the night before. I drop things off to Dan. We do like a fucking checklist of things. Yeah. Scott Steiner calls me while I'm at Dan's house, and he's like, hey, hey, uh, how's your sound guy? I go. I mean, he's a sound guy. He goes, Is he good? Yeah, he goes, I need you to get this song, Small People. <laughs> Randy you Newman. It? You ever hear it? Randy Newman? It's a fucking number one hit in the 80s. <laughs> I start punching my phone because he's talking loud enough where you can hear it on the other side of like the house. So I'm typing in my phone as we speak. I need this fucking song. And he's like, it's going to be real fucking offensive. I love it. <laughs> After that fucking promo that he uh, sent in against Swag, I was like, dude, just give him the belt. Fuck this shit. <laughs> oh so, so I do that, and then I have to fucking pack still and do that. And uh, so Swaggle convinces me to meet him in Chicago. So instead of flying direct, I fly to Chicago to meet Swaggle. And uh, it's I leave at 5.30 in the morning. And so... I go to Chicago and I land at five thirty in the morning. Basically, you like land at the same exact. Did he time. like fly down to Chicago? Or yeah, he that's where he, that's where his connection was. So his train goes from Milwaukee. So to, uh, we were gonna Chicago. we were gonna meet and uh, I'm fucking uh, I I landed some fucking far off fucking terminal. I'm walking down a fucking abandoned hallway and there's only one person walking towards me. It's my fucking ex girlfriend that I used to live with, and it was very uncomfortable. <laughs> It's a small world when you're uh, meeting up with a. Uh, I was like, no fucking way. This is not how this trip is going to start. I've not seen her this since the day that she left, fucking seven years ago or whatever. <laughs> so I was like, oh no, I don't know how this is going to go. And she just put her head down and acted like she didn't see me. Is this the? Uh, is this the the ex girlfriend of how Mr. Whiskers came about? This is Mr. Whiskers' original mother. Uh, this is her mother. Oh, that abandoned her. Wow. The, the abandoner. Baby mama. Can't believe it. Yeah, so didn't she didn't even ask lots of baggage. Whiskers was didn't nope. even want to know. Lots of baggage. Uh, so I was like, "Are you fucking kidding me?" 
Uh, so did you have a bad omen then at that point? Dude, I thought I was like, Oh God, like this is just a bad way to start this trip. Like this is uncomfortable. Uh, and so I got to wait for fucking swoggle and his little fucking legs, uh, to show up. So I, I get some breakfast and then he meets me at a airport bar. He, he, and he just starts ordering drinks at fucking six in the morning. And, uh, that's, that's what you're talking like two, three hour flight, you know, that's, that's, that's how, that's how we get going. And then, uh, he thinks, uh, I don't know how he pulls it off, but we get on the fucking flight and uh, he orders some more drinks and they just were giving us free fucking free drinks. I thought you had to pay for fucking. Usually you do. And you yeah. weren't sitting in first class, right? No. You didn't have that Duke money? No. So uh, we were getting free Tito's all the way and then uh, Swoggle switches it up and he starts drinking Bailey's. Ooh. <laughs> what a transition. <laughs> Bailey's with what? That's a terrible switch. Yeah, yeah. Bailey's just straight, coffee? just straight Who Bailey's. Straight Bailey's. He says he loves straight Bailey's. That's weird. That's yeah. that's strange. Dude. He's a leprechaun. <laughs> so he, uh, then we fucking you know uh, garnish it with some fucking Lucky charm shit. We land and uh, he's getting fucking TMZ at the fucking airport, <laughs> of course, uh, and just being a fucking dickhead. <laughs> Everybody, <laughs> of course. And we get to the Airbnb. And, uh, <laughs> you know, they say check-ins at four, but, you know, but they say that, that there's like a code or whatever. And they send it to me. It's just, you know, we get there at noon. Yeah. Code don't work. Probably doesn't work until four. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't work till four. So I said, let's just hang out on this porch, man. Now, let me ask oh, you Oh, you didn't go hang out in little Columbia? No. <laughs> yeah. Let me ask you this throwback here. Uh, who booked the Airbnb? I did. You booked this one. Yeah. Did you... Locate the nearest Whole Foods to check the neighborhood. Nice. No. No, but there was a nice close uh, liquor store. It the was, Whole Foods was 17 minutes away. It, this is it oh, was that's unfortunate. It, it was nice. It was a nice Airbnb. I don't know about the area we were in, but it was a nice house in the middle of something. It was nice. It was, it was fucking Where slept you? 20. It was nice. It was nice, dude. So uh anyway, uh I won't let I won't pay they want a sixty dollar fee. To enter the fucking house early, I won't pay it. Swoggle is throwing a fucking fit. Uh, I, if anyone was following me on Twitter, I was posting videos of Swoggle throwing a fit, sitting on the fucking, sitting on the fucking curb, yelling. Uh, he finally offers to pay the sixty bucks uh, so we can we can enter early, and uh, you know we get in, we fucking real world it, we pick out our fucking beds because we're the first ones at the house. Uh, I pick out the master suite with the fucking jacuzzi tub. Didn't get uh, the fuck with that thing. Personal, uh, personal bathroom, fucking, and uh, then you know, we just hang around. And PME and Papa Pepperoni are the next, uh, the next to arrive. They f- they fly in. They flew in, yeah. So and they show up on Wednesday as well. Yeah, they show up on Wednesday. Uh, it was just kind of like hanging around a little bit. Swoggle had a booking, so he had to go to Russell Pro. Uh, I had to go to a meeting at the White Eagle, and. Uh, you know, I see the venue and, you know, go get the rules for the fucking weekend and shit. What's your, this is their, this is your first time being to the venue. Yeah. What's your first thought when you go see it? I'm just ready to get it over with, man. Like there was no excitement, uh, an ounce of excitement in my fucking body. I was just ready for it to be Friday, to be perfectly honest. You didn't even like take in like, oh man, this actually looks really cool or, you know what I mean? Like in terms, did you... Or did you survey it for logistical purposes or anything? I mean, I surveyed it for logistical stuff, but, like, I mean, I don't know. Like, I, I'm not, like, a guy that gets crazy about venues. So, like, yeah, you know, that's not something that excites me. I was just ready to fucking get it over with. And uh, then, you know, I go back to the Airbnb and uh, myself and PME, we fucking we go to the liquor store. And uh, we start. Oh, Trey! I, I think Trey Lamar shows up Wednesday. Okay. Yeah, Trey got there a little before us. Yeah. So Trey shows up. He drives us to the liquor store because we didn't have cars. Right. Uh. So Trey drives us to the liquor store, and uh, we start getting a little pre-party going on, waiting for the van to arrive. Van arrives. Uh, it turns into much more of a house party. And then Matt Justice is like, hey, bro, like I know this cool metal bar in Brooklyn. Let's go. And uh, the night begins. 
It's like a 45 minute drive in this fucking rental van. Which and this I was is Wednesday night. Right? I was so, very cautious to like make sure all the tolls were paid. Like the, no way I'm getting another bill after this is all done for the rental. You don't have a uh, uh, well, no, because it was a rental and I don't have an Easy Pass. Which oh damn, you should have told me. I could have fucking like that rear uh, Orlando WrestleMania where you got charged like five hundred dollars or something. Oh well, I got that taken care of. That was because they never told me that I was under twenty five, and I'm like I had someone with me that would have just put his ID down and we wouldn't have gotten an extra fee but they didn't that tell was handled. You that you were under 25? No, you didn't they, know, huh? they never t- they never told me I was getting extra charge. Oh, anyway, yeah, yeah. I digress. Yes. Justice blows right through an easy pass on the way down to uh five, I thought you were bro. like 30. No. 32, 45. No, hair I'm piece, under bro. 30. Look at the hairpiece. How old different, How old's the hairpiece? <laughs> hair <laughs> anyway, hairpiece. He I go, "Oh, oh this hair is how piece this is going to go." <laughs> Hairpiece Hank. And uh So anyway, we get to this fucking bar. Uh but in the meantime, like before we leave, Tim Donst arrives with some fucking weird guy named Dr. Cube. <laughs> who is a, a fucking lunatic. Wild card. He this guy's a wild card. This is not the guy that he brought to jail at one year. No, no they're okay, totally that's different guy. guy. That guy hated me. <laughs> this guy's a fucking wild card. And uh we get to this fucking bar and uh like you think we're going to like a popular New York place? We go to this place that has like six people in it, uh, and one night in China, the full porn is playing on twice the t- on the it TV, looped uh, on a loop, and uh, they're just playing metal music, and there's like fucking candles lit and like uh, you know fucking crucifixes everywhere and shit, and uh, they have a spin the wheel, make the deal in there, which Philly oh. Count Philly Count spins the wheel. And you got to do a shot, and his shot comes in a fucking condom, uh, in which he has to suck a dirty shot out of a condom. Poor Philly Collins, by the way, he gets all dressed up, puts on a nice lavender polo, Wait, thinks we're going down. to like a Manhattan fucking hot, <laughs> like high fucking rise bar, rooftop bar. And uh, Matt Justice takes us to like the scummiest corner fucking dive bar in all of Brooklyn. Uh, and then, you know, it just turns into a night of drinking. Uh, we see some gigantic, huge New York rats running through garbage, which was terrifying. And, uh, you know, we get back to the fucking, get back to the Airbnb uh, after fucking, I don't know, six hours at this shitty bar. I was a good boy. I what? stayed back at the Airbnb. Actually, fun fact, I'm going to time travel back a little bit because we had that whole okay. drive. That whole and drive. And I was a good boy. Dr. Dan laid down the law, no smoking in the van, and I didn't get a goddamn jewel or fucking, I didn't even hit, I mean, well, Twan's like polite enough that, that he that, I think that was the un- underrated, like, funniest part of the whole, like, driving there or back is worldwide, like, takes a hit of Twan's uh, vape, and I thought you were going to die because you're like, what the hell is this? Like, it's I'm telling pebbles, you, man, it's man. fucking nanites. It's fucking <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> fucking small microscopic machines that are going to fucking, like, Tuan's gonna be fucking like dancing around in a fucking white suit with a fucking like bow around his neck, fucking eating chicken. Fucking, he's gonna get uh, tur- turned into a goddamn robot slave for fucking KFC. Whoa. That's what's gonna happen, hey. Tuan. Tuan, get off that stuff. Smoke real cigs like a man. Bump the brakes. Bump the brakes. But anyway, it's 2019. You can't talk. No, all oh, I'm saying, no. Tuan hates KFC, so like yeah, it's a I whole know. backstory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a whole no, thing. I, yeah. Fucking real heads know. But either way, all I'm saying is, Tuan, <laughs> you're gonna fucking be for you're gonna be forced to do things that you don't want to do because you're taking all these nanites into your fucking lungs and your blood. That's my fucking Thank God he has Alex Worldwide Keller as a voice of reason. But anyway, so I was a very good boy. Didn't like, you know, I smoked at like, you know, like rest stops, this, that, da, 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 da. I was like drinking my like uh, vodka, like fucking... We're like just talking, no, 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 talk, no, talking about open containers or other things in the car. They weren't. Anyway, moving on. Anyway, no, so either way, I fucking finally, towards the end of this eight hour drive, like, I fell asleep for like maybe 15 minutes. And like, when I woke up, I thought I heard Dan say, Oh, we're three minutes away. So, like, I like immediately, like, I went from like sleeping to holy shit, in three minutes, I'm gonna get to fucking rip a heater. This is gonna be fucking sick. We're gonna be there all up in it. And then, like, fucking, like... Well, what tries to jump out of the car? Well, that's because, like, yeah, then I figure out, I, like, what? look at the fucking GPS, this and that, and I'm like, oh, no, it's, we're, like, fucking 30 miles away, which in this fucking traffic, who knows what the fuck that means? Like, da 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 So, finally, by the time we were, like, a few blocks away, I had, like, two American spirits, like, in my mouth, like, ready to, like, just jump out of the fucking, like, goddamn fucking van and, like, start ripping it, but then, like, fucking, like, the goddamn light turned green. So, like, yeah, as soon as I got out... And definitely did some damage on a uh, green tea bottle, true road dog style. Third of a gallon on the way out there, keeping hydrated. 
What? Nice. Well, <laughs> all right. But yeah, Dan that's how was the a hell of a wheel man. started. Wheelman Dan. Shout out to so Thursday happens. Yeah, Thursday. Eventually. Is this when Sanka and Wes Barkley, you guys fly in on Thursday? Is that the deal there? Yeah, my road dog, Wes Barkley. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Early flights. 6 Early flights. out. Who that was wild. About eight. It felt like we lived like four days on Thursday because yeah. we were just running and gunning Did you have all connecting day. flights? Or were you no, right straight right through. There. About That's an hour bad. flight. That's an easy flight. We rented a car from LaGuardia. That Nissan Rogue. Nissan Rogue was sending mad text <laughs> messages from my phone I didn't even know about. That's wild. And uh, we a lot had of movers we in, New had York. in uh, during Thorne's mandatory nap periods. Yeah, we showed up right when everyone was starting to crash. Thorne, Thorne starts. Uh, we leave. I did. I did institute mandatory napping. Uh, yeah. Because uh, you know everyone was up all night Wednesday, to the fact that where I woke up, everybody was still up from Wednesday, yeah. and uh, AJ Gray and Matt Justice uh, cook a breakfast and. The whole house is still uh, AJ Great. I don't even know where he came from. He wasn't even supposed to stay there. You wake up and he's there. He, he was. We just... were about to get on this flight, and I saw your tweet about them cooking breakfast. I was like, okay, this is what we're getting into. All right. Yeah. So they hadn't slept yet, and uh, and that's the one thing. Like they said, like every day in Jersey, New York, or whatever, it felt like it was four days. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Long, long stuff. Because like so much stuff would happen, and like. Th- you just it, it would all blend together. So right. I institute mandatory naps because I go, listen, you guys have to perform later, right. and the show doesn't start till eleven, and it is nine a.m., ten a.m. right now, <laughs> and you guys have not slept uh, from Wednesday morning. Uh, so uh, I start instituting some rules to fucking uh, make sure that people can perform uh, later later in the evening because I don't think people realized that they had gone into Thursday because everything was blending together. How did that make you feel like a little bit of a father figure there? Was that out of place for you? Well, I wouldn't have cared, but we had a show, you know what I mean? And that's why we were there. We were there for the show. So it's like, Hey guys, party fucking Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Yeah. When we're done. Right. Uh, which, that have didn't to stop me. <laughs> I cracked as soon as I got in that place. Well, you weren't a performer <laughs> on the show. Yeah, I thought I was performer. getting in that nap. You start cracking the butt heavy. So I was like, all right, I'm up. Yeah, they <laughs> just keep it rolling. So they show they showed up with a rental car. So now we had, you know, we had a car. Yeah, we had uh, to start making some moves. Yeah, so Trey's car, so we so we started running some errands. Got and, your chairs. Yeah, Home we're Depot. Yeah, we had Home Depot. We were fucking looking for chairs, looking for fucking stuff for the show. So what I really love Scott is... Scott Steiner's fucking trying to get me to change his flight for him. Yeah, so what that happens there? That was a trip. There? That was a trip. So we're, we're, we got a bunch of stuff lined up, right? We're going to hit Home Depot. We're going to get some stuff for the tickets. Gonna we're going to get something to eat at Edie. Shout out to Edie's. Um, <laughs> that, 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 and all of a sudden, shout out Scott Steiner episode. throws this wrench in the plans. He's like, hey, you got to call and change my flight. And I'm like... <laughs> He's like, I got another booking on Sunday, and I'm like, and he dude. wanted to push it back like four hours. I'm right? like, yeah, and I'm like, dude, they say it's like six hundred bucks, <laughs> and he's like, what to change it? I'm like, yeah, dude, I'm, I don't know, man. Like, I called, uh, so uh, another Scotty story. We're back. So I was like, uh, and I just don't know why, like, these people can't call and change their flight. You know, like, he's like, you got to change it. And I'm like, dude, you're the one with the fucking Delta status, like yeah. Sky Miles account. Right. Uh, Wes Barkley took the role. So he was like, right. so I was like, uh, he's a like, call and, you know, see if you can use my miles. I'm like, <laughs> so I'm like, here, like, yeah. Wes, call. And, like, he's on the phone. And When he, you threw it at me, I was like, okay, this is. This is different. All right, Scotty. Did you try you to know? talk like Scott Steiner? Yeah, I was like, you know, and you had to do his real real last name, you know? So S- Scott Rick Steiner, you know, something like that. and, <laughs> and Rick Steiner. <laughs> yeah. And the, and the lady was just grilling me with questions. Then they hit him like, with, like, what's the frequent flyer number? And I had that, you know? Yeah. And then, like, what's the date of birth? And yeah, I had that. On Wikipedia? <laughs> she's, like, she's probably thinking, like, how does he not know his own birthday? <laughs> yeah, because I didn't have it, like, written down. Right, you know, we're, so we're, just we're driving. And uh, then I was like, uh, then, then they hit him with the, I'm gonna. Uh, what's the what's the phone number? So I give the cell phone number. Yeah. They're like, that's so not have... that's not the number on the account. I need your other number. So and, she's sketched out. You can hear it in her. Voice. And then she's like, I need your number, your mailing address, and your last three trips with Delta. And that's then the jig cracked. The jig was, was like, up. Dude. I was like, All right, lady, we're running a show. We're trying to get his details. This guy's wild. And she's like, Oh, no worries. You know, just get this, this, and this from him. 
and it'd be 50,000 miles. I was like, this dude's just throwing miles around left and right. <laughs> so so then she said the total was like like 600 bucks or something, right? Yeah. He said it was supposed to be two, but it ends up being six or 700 bucks. So I, I text him. I'm like, dude, they won't let me do it. I need all this personal information. He's like, all right, I'll just get, I'll just get him at the desk. <laughs> Right, because he still hasn't even flown out yet. Yeah, so he's about to deal with someone from Delta. So because yeah, he didn't want to fly. Because uh, when you fly Scott Steiner, he has all these fucking uh, he has all these requests based on the traffic patterns of Atlanta. So like you can only fly him certain hours because he doesn't want to hit the Atlanta traffic. Sure. Uh, so it's he was he wasn't fl- <laughs> he, <laughs> Not he, is. Nice. He, he wasn't even flying out until five p.m. <laughs> okay. for like a seven thirty p.m. landing. Uh, and so then he's probably getting there at like three, maybe. What's that? So he's probably getting to the airport at like three. Yeah, I don't know. Stops at Shoney's, just checks out at one last time. Sure he's about to be. Good. Yeah, he's no, about to no, be. he's got that stuff on his. He rents a Shoney's camp. camp. He, rent, camp he rents his, his own stuff. car. Like, because you remember he tried to do that with me. He, he tried to run out and get his own car, and then he rents one. Pulls up to the White Eagle. Cadillac. Cadillac. Fresh Caddy. Yeah, fresh Cadillac, dude. Decked out. <laughs> Scotty just pulling up with the dented windows. Wow. <laughs> Repping NWO. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he had a Caddy. <laughs> And like, there's no parking at this place. Like, Why can't I fucking park here? I need a chick. <laughs> Go for it. Yeah, yeah. That's all. Good. That'll be we'll a whole other deal <laughs> on another episode. But uh, we're we're running all these errands and shit. And uh, you know, then you know, Thursday, th- Thursday, pretty much. Uh, like, we, I have as many people meet us at the Airbnb before him because there's so many shows going on, and like, they don't want like all the. R- all the like the different people just co mingling at yeah. in the backstage area. So uh, our Airbnb was about a thirty minute drive to the White Eagle. So I try to have as many people meet us at the Airbnb in advance. Uh, we have like a little, you know, we have like a little house party before the show. That was uh, after my nap, so that was day two. We were right. on day two. Here. Yeah, day you, two you guys hit one. a nap. So <laughs> you, you know guys- what else is crazy? When we were doing that Home Depot run and everything, I felt like there was a timer in the corner, and it's like 12 hours till the White Eagle. You know what I mean? I always felt like we were just, so when this house party's going on, it's like three hours out. You know, like, we were getting there, and it was starting, like, everyone's having fun, but at the same time, it's like, it was it's like business, real. It was like business mode, too. Yeah. And, like, we have all this stuff to do. We got to organize the ticketing and, like, do all this shit, and uh, fucking... Uh, you know, that at this point, like three hours before we have to get to the venue, like the fucking AIW Airbnb is packed. Like there's fucking probably 40 people in this house at this point. And uh, like the Jollyville Fuckets are there. All right. the students that came up are there. Like Colin is there. All these fucking people are there. Champ. Yeah, fucking Champ is there. PB Smooth is there. Fucking Brought a Trader Joe's bag with them. <laughs> Stock to the brim. You got a couple of those salads left over, huh? I got a Caesar. <laughs> <laughs> he meal prepped for the trip, huh? Yeah, and he left it in the fridge. Oh, I caught man. a Caesar. Yeah, so Nick took a Caesar Breakfast off of him. Caesar. Someone left like some fucking like uh, White Castle in the fridge for like days. Oh, that, was, oh, like, that, that was us. <laughs> that was our. I almost ate it at one point in time we'll when get I to that. knew we'll get what to like that. food was and. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, you know, we'll get into the whole fucking, we'll get into the rest of the Thursday probably once we cover the show because yeah. that pretty much is how, you know, we just go straight into the show from, from this point and on. So like I said, we'll, we'll cover the show when we talk about a whole episode dedicated just to that. Uh, but then Friday rolls around. I mean, did anybody party after the show? Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, lots of people ex- except for me fucking Wes, Sega, and Donst. Colt Cabana. Because we had to drive Cabana to his fucking Manhattan hotel room. Oh, yeah, you guys didn't get back till late as hell. So, like, it was about an hour, you know, for us to get back. So we just hit White Castle. That's, like, our after party. It was, like, still, like, really subdued, like, after partying at the B&B. I think just because everyone was, like, just fucking relieved that, like... Yeah, it was over and it was a success. success. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, But I have to wake up at fucking... To do WrestleCon. WrestleCon. Yeah, we right. did an hour and a half at White Castle. Yeah, that took fucking forever to get our just White Castle. Just like food? drive through or what? No, we went in. Uh, but like, you know, waiting for it. But uh, so we wake up at like, I, my alarm goes off at seven for fucking WrestleCon. Uh, get up, you know, spruce spruce myself up. And uh, we have Trey Lamar drives us in, right? Yeah, me, you, Hornswoggle, and. Uh, 
Oh yeah, Tim Hornswoggle Donald. was staying at the Airbnb. Yeah. Yeah, Tim Dance was uh, waiting for the next shuttle to come. <laughs> yeah, Tim Dance wanted to come, and I'm like, dude, Trey Lamar has this fucking small ass car. We have all this merch to bring in. Yeah, and uh, that was a fucking that sucked because I had no idea where we were set up at, and it was like a maze in that fucking place. Meanwhile, you got Scott Steiner set up next to you. Oh, Scott, well, he's calling me because he's driving himself in, which uh, NWO this Meanwhile- fucking this turns into like uh, WrestleCon. Uh, Turns into a wash for basically because like Scott Steiner <laughs> just takes the whole fucking table, and so, uh, we're on the third floor, and Doctor Dan put all that merch that he was talking about into a fucking waterlogged box. <laughs> I looked like a homeless guy going up there with a seven hundred pound. Box <laughs> it is all breaking. Breaking shit's half. falling everywhere. <laughs> shit's falling everywhere. I lose Thorn. I'm out for about an hour. <laughs> yeah, because no it's a idea mess. Where I'm going? It's a mess, and. You uh, yeah, it's fucking Steiner shows up. Uh, Scotty. It's supposed to be us, and then Swaggle's going to sell, and then Steiner. And I think, you know, he's going to have some fucking 8x10s. <laughs> fucking uh, Swaggle's going to have, you know, 8x10 and a shirt, and then we're going to have, you know, because we've done this years, yeah. with multiple people at the table, you know, they just set up over our stuff. Right, and we had Gradle last year. It, it, Brit has come, Brit, yeah. and fucking all sorts of people. Steiner Bruce. rolls up. Yeah, Bruce Pritchard, Steiner rolls up. He fucking has every 8x10 that's ever fucking happened in his career. <laughs> Spreads every one of them out on the table. Then Swaggle's got a spot. And then AIW has like a quarter. And I'm like, I'm so tired. I don't even want to fucking argue with this guy. Uh, because this was part of the sweeten in the pot to get him to agree to wrestle Hornswoggle. Right. Uh, and like, I'm going on an hour and a half sleep. I was fucking annoyed lugging these fucking boxes around, fucking trying to find this table, because I had no fucking idea where we were at. Like, no idea. Could not find it at all. Because uh, th- it was three fucking floors. It wasn't like you just walk into one room and you f- look to the- for the AIW logo. Like, it was three separate floors. Were Could- you supposed to have, like, union workers help you carry no, shit? No, no, no. That was what you weren't supposed to have, or unless you, wa- unless you wanted to pay them 600 bucks an hour. Oh, damn. So... We get there and like WrestleCon's cool. It's just like uh, I'm so f- tired. And- Real quick, um, Hornswoggle ends up going to the empty table across. <laughs> oh, yeah. you remember? And then Scott and Center Scott takes Steiner up more. Takes his eight by ten. This is fucking hilarious to me. <laughs> They're like an inch apart from each other, and Scott Steiner <laughs> makes it a point to fucking spread them out an extra inch. It take more. Take up- on another half of the table. <laughs> More of the table because Hornswoggle has been, already been fucking forced hey, Johnny, out. He's not. He's going over there. All right, cool. <laughs> spreading this shit even more. <laughs> And I mean, I, you know, like classic Scotty. That's wild. what made it funny is like because He's wild. He's it's just a wild like card. you know. I know that you're like the whole point of WrestleCon is like you're supposed to want to go there and make money, but it was just so fucking like just witnessing it and like Nick and I being on the same wavelength and Cabana being on the same wavelength and Swoggle and we just all like making eye contact and laughing in our heads because it's like. This guy just fucking literally moved his 8x10s over even more after he's already taken up the majority of the table. I think at this point, since the show has passed, you've been, you're like letting loose and t- kind of taking it all in and yeah, thinking I, it's more hilarious. I now. thought it was funny because the show was over and like I didn't care. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I was just like, whatever, it's done. And, uh, you know, I, I still have money in the bank, so I don't even fucking care. I feel, we had, I feel like you're going to get a phone call after this podcast airs. Oh, I might. We'll just do an interview with Scotty. But uh, been live from Cracker Barrel. Yeah. Uh, so it, it's just, you know, it, it's just one of those things to where it's like, it, it's fucking so hilarious that he just fucking spreads his 8 by 10s out more. We pretty much did worked you know, for him. Did you know that? Yeah, yeah. We pretty much worked for Scott all day. Yeah, we you guys were, take, were you taking pictures for him. Yeah, we yeah. took all his pictures and went Thorn. So much so lab. that he asked me if I would be attending StarCast to help him out. <laughs> <laughs> I said, Scott, I can't did make you know it. There's another Cracker Barrel story. I didn't realize this. I can't there's remember who it was, but somebody went on Cabana's podcast. Yeah, PD Williams. Yeah, that's, so the yeah. that's the OG yeah. one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I had to one up him. I went twice. I had no idea. That's, that's, about that's a that. fucking Steve guy move, dude. I had no idea about the the podcast, yeah. and uh, my buddies were like on our way. They're like, it's like, oh yeah, Scott Steiner and Cracker Barrel." And I was like, "Oh, did you guys listen to that episode?" And they're like, "Yeah, Petey Williams." I'm like, "Wait, what? No, Wes Barkley." There we go. And then they Let him know. We were like, "Oh shit, AIW podcast." And I was like, "Listen to this Cracker Barrel story." Right. But Appreciate but it. I love walking around WrestleCon and just seeing all the fucking names and. 
Like, always some shenanigans. Yeah, there's always some shit going on. You know, like Crime Time had like a pizza shop set up. Like there's all sorts of weird shit going on uh, in there. And I'm sure that there was a lot of funny stuff that I fucking forgot. But like uh, I saw Scott Steiner and Medeja reconnect at our table, which was fucking, <laughs> which was amazing. Yeah, because Medeja and Paula fucking Paul Shock were set up like right across from us. Uh, and, uh, you know, they came over and, and reconnected. Uh, the only person, Scott Steiner Scotty. was pissed all day long. Uh, like so much so that like he was doing interviews and what did he do? Like, he, uh, somebody asked him about his, what, he like, how was Caesars? No, the, yeah, the, <laughs> these podcasts were rolling around all day and he, he, they would catch him and he'd be so pissed off to do these podcasts. He didn't want to do them. And one guy asked him like, Hey Scott, what's your favorite, uh, WrestleMania moment? <laughs> he was like, Nothing. <laughs> None. And they're like, uh, <laughs> no, seriously, what is it? Nah, nothing. And I think that was the end of that podcast. <laughs> yeah, that was it. That was his whole interview. <laughs> nothing. Yeah, Didn't he say he was cold as shit? Didn't he say he was cold as shit out or something? Then he's, then, he was like, calling us later. At, at the end, he loosened up. Yeah, at the, end, the very end when he was wrapping up, he kind of he started like he let loose and just started talking, talking shop and laughing. Shop me and Thorn, and that was pretty cool. Yeah, it was funny. He was telling but us about some WrestleMania. Good stories. He was telling us the fucking Caesar's Palace, man. It's it's terrible. It's outside. You can't hear shit. <laughs> and he's like, I was fucking supposed to wrestle Randy fucking Orton. He fucking bu- fucking broke his fucking ankles or something. No, he's yeah, he's said Randy Orton broke both his ankles. Fucking Batista broke his ankle. <laughs> I got left off the card. He's like, fuck WrestleMania. <laughs> But yeah, like it was, it was, Scotty. it was cool. Uh, fucking, and I don't know. Like I walked around, I saw some people. Uh, I'm sure that you know, I'm forgetting, I'm forgetting some stuff that happened there. But all the, all like the old timers that come up to us, like we were as handlers. Hey, where's Scotty at? Yeah, <laughs> hey guys, where's Scotty? Yeah, because he rolled. Because Scott Steiner, Scott Steiner brought his own gigantic Scott Steiner banner of like the WW2K fucking. <laughs> I love it. Fucking, you know, <laughs> ju- like just jacked up Scott Steiner. Uh, I don't think it even has a name on it. It's no. just a picture. The only person that he was, ex- he even hated seeing every legend, it seemed. The only person he was excited to see was beautiful Bobby Eaton. That was the only time his mood changed all day. He loved him. Loved him. He was like, oh, they didn't name you beautiful for nothing. And he was like, <laughs> gave him a kiss on the cheek, I think. And like, and then like. Lex Luger's there in the wheelchair. Like, oh, hey, Lex. Lex was right behind him, <laughs> trying to jump out of his wheelchair, and he's like, "Hey, Lex, how you doing, man?" <laughs> yeah, he's like, "Hey, Lex," but like, beautiful Bobby Eaton was the only guy he was excited to see all day long. <laughs> like, so many people stopped and talked to him, like legends and stuff, and he was just like, "They didn't name you beautiful for nothing." He was the only time I've ever seen the guy smile in my life is when he saw beautiful Bobby Eaton. I'll tell you one thing about Scott though. He's uh, he's. Really good at uh, trying to pay you back for stuff you bring him. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Some guy brought him some chicken. He's like, hey, bud, what do I owe you for that? <laughs> oh, I found the house. And then I went on a coffee yeah. run for him oh, yeah. Starbucks. <laughs> hey, kid, what do I owe you for that? Oh, you're good, Scott. <laughs> yeah, he probably he, he made a fortune, too. Cleaned up. Yeah. He so, intimidated everybody into buying that fucking package. Combo pack. <laughs> Why don't you do a combo? <laughs> Fucking value. Some good salesmanship right there. If you could just That's intimidate people into it, yeah, dude, he was he was doing like fucking thirty five dollar photo ops, man. He killed. So Friday we go from WrestleCon to there, and then uh, I I want to talk about little VIP uh, bar set up for the boys that you had going. Oh yeah, we'll get to that Saturday. I thought that was no, that's Friday. He's talking about the show you guys went to. Friday. Night. Friday night, you guys go to the show after WrestleCon. Me and Thorne hung out for a while. Oh, held yeah. down Colt's table while he fucking disappeared uh, for about an hour and a half. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Then, then we hit the subway. Yeah, then we, we then we baby? then we learned the subway. We went and uh, ate some food at some barcade in Jersey City. Terrible service there too. Awful. The guy was such a dickhead. And uh, New York we, sucks, man. Yeah, we went to uh, haters everywhere. That, oh, that's when we went to spring break at eight. And uh, we were making Dr. Dan DoorDash's beers. Yeah, Dr. Dan was at the White Eagle for a full fucking 15-hour shift that day. <laughs> and he was like, I just got paid. He fucking spent like $600 at the bar. Like, <laughs> day on Dr. Dan. Yeah, he was like, I just got paid. And like, uh, it, it was so packed. Where is he? Yeah, I wanted yeah, to rip, he, rip into him a little bit. He left. Yeah, <laughs> hairpiece? McGill yeah. County left? Yeah. yeah, and uh, he... Uh, Talk about Patreon those. exclusive. <laughs> he uh, he sure fucking... Uh, so like the shows were so packed, it was hard to see, and like we were like up, we were up in the balcony, and uh, 
we didn't want to fucking move because somebody would take our spot. So like Dr. Dan was just like being such a drunk fucking just <laughs> buying fucking everyone, everything. I just kept texting him. Hey Dan, two Bud Lights over here. And like, he'd come, he was like a, he was like a fucking calling your own server, a server. And like, you didn't have to, you didn't have to pay him though. Like he would just be, here you go. And, uh, fucking, <laughs> we just kept door dashing beers all night. Um, Thorn question is Friday night. The night you met the Brickster. Oh no! I think I met him Saturday. I met him Saturday. Okay, I wasn't sure which night no, you met met the Brickster. I, I met him Thursday at AIW, but I didn't really remember him. Oh, the Brickster! What a character! I met him on Saturday. That's, I do recall him from uh, Thursday night, like in the outdoor uh, locker room. Yeah, when we rolled up. Yeah, yeah, he was hanging out, and I was like, he "This guy's up. definitely somebody." I don't know who the fuck he, he is. He snapped but. a picture in my shirt, my Rip City shirt. Nice. Yeah, your custom job yeah. that you had. Uh. Yeah, so then Friday we drink. We just we pretty much put in a shift at the fucking White Eagle. And yeah. Um, shouts to the White Eagle, by the yeah, way. Thursday night was the, was the <laughs> that was spring break one. That was the night that Thorn. I don't know if, how much you want to go into detail, but he got a little off edge. <laughs> yeah, I was fucking. I was pretty. It was drunk. no filtered Thorn that night. Yeah, I was just Friday night. I was letting it rip. Okay. No, uh, no Ron Funches to uh, bounce off of. Oh, I was banned from fucking commentary this year, but banned. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I was, we'll get a hashtag campaign going on sh- next year. We'll I was shrugged off by the commentary team. Oh man! So whatever. It's uh, unfortunate. But yeah, I was. Uh, we pretty much so after spring break, uh, Ethan Page comes up, and uh, he was like, "Oh, I want to have one beer with you and Swaggle because Swaggle was on Blackcraft. That was after. Uh, so right. show of the weekend. So we, you know, we go into this upper bar area and like, right. you know, we have a we have a drink and then. You know, uh, Shane Hawk, the guy that was, he was helping with IWS, he comes in and he buys a round of shots. And then, like, I hate shots, but, you know, it's like whiskey shots. And then, like, people just keep buying, people just keep buying me Jameson shots. And, like, it just turns into a night, man. You took them. Those are my shots. Yeah, I took them. I did take them. And, uh, you know, we got Gangrel up there. He's fucking crying. We're telling him what a great dude he is, and he's fucking <laughs> he's getting emotional, dude. <laughs> Me and Ethan Page are getting emotional with fangs fucking Gangrel. Out. He yeah. took the fangs out, you know, like fucking real. showed us David, you know. <laughs> we got fangs and banging. White fangs. And, uh, yeah, like. Uh, banging and banging? That turns just into a fucking a night. Uh, yeah, I fucking, uh, we met up with you guys because yeah. slept the fuck in, and then we, like, hung out until, like, I think, like, 10 or 11 at the airbnb and then we like we're like ah oh, fuck it we'll go to fucking black craft and we had a van and then we met up with you guys and we're like we've been going at it and you guys have been going the fuck <laughs> at it. yeah and i was bummed though i didn't get to see a 12 hour drunk dr dan oh he God, was just man, I fucking was i was that. like i was he- seeing it in the group chats so like hearing about it here and there all fucking day and i was like what's i without me this is fucked up he we had to spend good, 600 bucks we got some good uh video doc of fucking Dr. Dr. Dan in that state. You know, yeah. it's, I'm thinking I don't know now, it's a good thing that uh, the Duke just came in and then went out. Didn't need him trying to bum like more boner powder off of uh, old Gangrel. Yeah, though. it was, uh, that was, it, it. pretty much that upper bar turns into like all workers. Uh, and, you know, uh, I won't say anything on the Blackcraft show. It's been well documented how that went. Uh, so there was tons and tons of workers like there. Uh I didn't see one second of it. We were just in that bar for fucking three straight hours. Sp- and Spent my night at a gentleman's club instead of with you. I didn't know everybody was going to the that's, show. That's the first night we went to the Hood Stop Chicken spot. Yeah. That was the first night. I, I didn't get into the Hood Stop Chicken. Yeah, I, don't, I, think worldwide, I think Worldwide gets me a ride home. with the. Don's got the gyro platter there. That's the story. <laughs> I, uh, well, no. At some point in time, like, fucking, like, I still, like, I've been, like, racking my goddamn brain but someone pulled me the fuck aside and they're like worldwide thorn is drunk as fuck it's <laughs> your fucking job you and only you you gotta get him the fuck back to that airbnb who safe tonight you? and i'm like yeah who picked you yeah someone it you? wasn't fucking like i like seriously this I'm is like clearly somebody to, like, who knows you by name only yeah, yeah yeah and like fucking like they like fucking like we're just like on me they're like you have to make sure it gets and i did <laughs> You did. Uh, you that was the, about it, but that's that fine. was that was the drunkest night of uh, my entire trip. Shout right. out to Doctor Dan, though he did get me home. <laughs> what? Yeah, he how he was my guiding light all weekend. How how did he, he just get had you the home? most battery he life on Uber. the phone? He fucking ran that. Oh, he ordered Uber. He ran that six hundred dollar tab up. 
And then go to the sixty dollar Uber. Then, you use the Uber credit card? I have no fucking clue. Oh, my Uber credit card. Oh yeah, shout out to any fan that bought me fucking alcohol this weekend. You're all the fucking true superstars. Doctor Dan fucking kept his eye on the ball. Well, number one, dude. Oh, I did a couple photo ops at WrestleCon too. I forgot to mention that. Like with you? Yeah. What'd you charge? Not free. Oh, what a nice guy. They bought any, shirts. They any, bought shirts. Any Tito's oh, okay. this year? Any, no, no Tito's, Tito's this wow, year. This is the first year. Era. For, we didn't really, well, I didn't, we kept, I didn't go Saturday, though. We kept it clean. At yeah, we also didn't really hype up the uh, bringing the Tito's this year. We usually make mention that you are personally well, going to be Well, plus also, there. it's not like, I mean, New Orleans and shit. Like, you know, yeah, you can just carry that bottle wherever the nah, fuck you In Orlando, people Orlando brought me people Tito's. Brought it, yeah. Thorne skipped the Tito's and went straight to the whiskey this year. Oh, yeah. Bad move, dude. Never Bad. Again. Hot browns. Bad move. <laughs> yeah, dude, hot browns. All I kept asking Thorne if he's doing another little one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Line me up another little brown. That's what I kept saying. <laughs> and I hate whiskey, but I was just, I was I, on I another know. planet that day. It's hard enough to get you doing shots of... Uh, Vodka, you got to do lemon drops or something. I hate shots, sweet. But I was just, dead. I was just in a mood, and I was letting everybody know what I, how I felt about them if they asked. <laughs> That's all I'll say. And then still bought them. Yeah, yeah. I was, I, I was, witnessed a lot of it. It's great stuff. <laughs> I was I had no filter on Friday I know night. About those nice private uh, bathrooms upstairs too. Fucking yeah, there's bathrooms up there. There's all yeah. kinds of stuff. I like didn't even go up there like the entire goddamn time. Uh, fucking during the AIW show, Thorne was taking a piss, got a low pound. <laughs> yeah, the fucking the fucking no leg guy was knocking on the door. <laughs> it's fucking no weird night. So then we roll into uh, Saturday. Anybody anybody awake early on? Wait, uh, wait, 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 wait. I- we gotta go to the gyro story, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. This, this is the Tim Don's gyro. So we story? went to the Hoodstop Chicken spot, right? Justice just uh, allegedly killed somebody and then won the title at Blackcraft, right? And then uh, all that stuff happened. We went. After you know, hold on. Before right. you even get to the gyro uh, yeah. uh, story, yeah. at some point, half of the half of the house who has flights book goes home. Just leave Friday. Oh, yeah. Friday afternoon, everyone just goes home. Everyone left. They're gone. Yeah, They're gone back to Cleveland. Tons of they have flights booked. The camaraderie and brotherhood of uh, New Orleans last year not there this year. I'm gonna say that. I yeah. don't know. Yeah, shout I, out to Papa Pepperoni though, man. I, I before your guys' show on Thursday, I hit that tiki I mean, bar in the front. Kick him out of the house, guys, so that, that guy's cool. fucking hilarious. He's a good guy. I, well, I think I, I got to hang out. He was the only person I knew. In, in I think the, the vibe. The corner, I, well, so. I think Friday morning when the police showed up at the Airbnb, mm. I think that kind of threw the vibe yeah, off. That was uh, fucked up. What was that about? Uh, <laughs> some some guy that <laughs> Nate Webb asked if he had nowhere to go. He asked if he could come hang out. At our place, shows up for a couple hours, shows up with people, uh, and I bring this up as soon as I get back, and nobody acknowledges me. They're parked like on a sidewalk in this neighborhood. Yeah, like oh. crooked. And I was like, "This is a problem. People move your fucking cars. We have a two car garage yeah. with no cars in it. That's where put Dan car- Dom slept. <laughs> yeah, that's where Dom slept. But you yeah. know, <laughs> we can put we, we or Don Don yeah that Dom." That's that's where fucking uh, you know you could pull the cars in. So nobody fucking moves this car. Neighbors call the police. Show up at like what six six or seven, seven in the morning. In the morning, unbelievable. And then he comes out. And he's got all sorts of fucking weird sass with Rufio, like the goddamn man. cops. This, that, everything else, and I'm just like fucking like turning the fucking like Nate. I'm like, who the fuck is this imbecile? He's this telling the cops that he doesn't fucking need fucking dunce. proof of insurance. Yeah, he's like, my fuck dad has it. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> Who's this in? The, the, Rufio, yeah, I know who it was. Rufio yeah. from the Lost Boys. Oh, oh. Axe around. <laughs> Not somebody from our crew. Okay. No. Well, he was, yeah, can, uh, he was Nate Webb's he driver. Was with Nate Webb. Okay. And yeah. uh, so uh, I, I think maybe that's why like that's some people just decide they're just going to go dip home. Dipshit Magoo. Book him in the clusterfuck next year. Dipshit Magoo. Because world... I'll give it to him. Because worldwide, I think... Uh, World, worldwide. I think I think worldwide's carry on luggage scared some people back to Cleveland. That's what I'll say. And half the fucking house That's just fucking bull shark. Half the house leaves. Oh, wow. half of them were fucking. They had luggage. They had fl- they had flights booked and everything, and uh, they just drove back to Cleveland. <laughs> Papa Pepperoni paying customer bought a GA pass for the entire collective. Only sees AIW also Thursday. Also, tickets to like some fucking like uh, Yankees shit that like Philly didn't even want to go to. He's like, man, he wants to go to some fucking Yankees game. Oh yeah, on Wednesday they want to go to the Yankees game. Oh, he man. wanted to go to the Yankees game, but they yeah, didn't go because go the tickets were ten bucks or something. If Sanko would have gone to that. 
anyway, uh, there, brother. I know. So I just wanted to I just wanted to bring that up that half half the half the trip disappears uh, day one. All right. So gyro story. Oh yeah. yeah. Nothing too crazy. We're just uh, driving back. So it's me, Bev, Justice, and Donst. And we're trying to get some food. You know, the night before we went to uh, White Castle and it took forever. So we're like, let's just get something quick. And we see this place, 24 hour chicken and other stuff, you know. Shout, out, stuff. To, shout out to fried chicken. Dude. Shout out to fried chicken. The <laughs> so much the fried chicken, dude. Yeah. This was Hoodstop Chicken. I ended up going there twice just for convenience only. So we go in there, and, you know, it's got everything and another thing on a menu. You know, it's got they're selling everything there. But I just see it, and I see there's chickens ready in the back. I go, let me get two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Bev Smith comes right behind me, does the same thing. We're cruising. Justice Blackcraft Champ gets, like, five pieces of chicken, a couple wings, you know, a couple One, one thing we learned about Matt Justice, he loves some fried chicken in New York City. Yes, sir. Every meal. So Three, he's ripping it. Every meal. We're, fried chicken. So we're all on the car, and then we're waiting on dots, and he took an hour and a half. He comes out with like some some of this, some of that, a gyro salad. We're like, where the, the hell did that come from? He got the gyro platter. The gyro platter. He's making little dips and Falafels. shit in there. Yeah. I'm like, what is going on? So How did Justice feel about that? He was fired up. He was fired up. So. Did he make a mess in the car? Whose car was it? I think it was Trey's car. I think AJ Gray only made the only mess in his car. Yeah, AJ Gray puked in Trey's car. <laughs> oh, oh, that was that night. Yeah, so so AJ was there and he was out cold. Snoozing. Yeah. How's poor so Trey get feel about that? I don't know. He was not happy. I would, I would imagine. So then Saturday, so then we go into yeah. Saturday. I call off Russell Con. <laughs> see you. Because I'm so drunk, I I tell Weird Body, I see. Weird body, you gotta make sure you gotta get make the Russell Con, man. I'm not gonna make it in the morning. I give him this big fucking talk Friday night when I'm all drunk when I get back, and uh, him and Doctor Dango and they do Russell Con all Weird day. Weird body fought with uh, Frankie Flynn about who was going <laughs> oh, all morning. That's all I heard. Sheesh. <laughs> what did he say? He said Thor told me yeah. I gotta do it. Weird body said Thor put this in my hands. Man. <laughs> <laughs> You're staying here. <laughs> Weird body, he had a good time. I talked to him uh, later on that day. He he said he really enjoyed working the wrestle. Con. Weird body had a good Saturday. <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> yeah. unreal Saturday. So, which so is what they guys, were on. We'll come back to that. So they go to WrestleCon. So I don't experience any of Steiner isms or anything on Saturday at all. Um, we sleep a little bit, wake up, we decide. Justice goes, or we decide we're going into the city. Justice doesn't want to go. He might want to go home. He doesn't know. And then we get ready, and then he goes, oh, fuck it. Let's go to the city. Let's get some fried chicken. I'm going to take, take you guys to this fried chicken spot. I'm going to take chicken spot. So we go to the Blue Ribbon Fried Chicken in Hell's Kitchen. <laughs> take yes, the train sir. in. We yes, take the, sir. We take the train in. Got a solid crew with us. Yeah, we had a nice crew. Yep. AJ Gray. Uh, Big Twan. Big Twan. Twan. Highlight, highlight of the social media uh, oh, during that trip gosh. is Big Twan Tucker uh, being Spider Man. Okay, so, well, oh, right, we'll wait till you right, see this. Right. We'll wait well, till he's you... start right when we get off the train. We get off Times Square. He's already getting a Buddha guy selling him a bracelet. Yeah, he's, he's like, man, that shit fits. It yeah. fits. We're like, Twan, no. The guy's like, yeah, I need 20 bucks now. Like, what the hell's going on? We're like, Twan, ignore keep him. Keep going. Keep yeah. going. Keep going. So, <laughs> Big Twan also. Off a rip. First guy. <laughs> Big so, Twan also the, not the, a fan the, of going the, under the water. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Manhattan. Yeah. The our younger are our younger students at the AW Wrestling Academy not ready for New York at all. So naive. Shoot. In which so naive. I, right. I, I, I right. warned Laurel that she's going to get ripped off, and she said, "Oh no," and uh, she got ripped off for tons of money. Uh, <laughs> and Elmo got her in Times Square. Oh, Elmo her? got her in Times Square. Elmo. Uh, but uh, anyway, t- <laughs> Big Twan has like he must have like water in his ears or something. <laughs> so like when the sub when the train it just keeps popping. When the train went underwater, he started screaming on the train every time. <laughs> he was losing it, and then I was I was just mouthing words to him like he couldn't hear anymore. He was losing his Don't mind, do that. but he could hear everything else on the train. <laughs> so that come that, on, dude. That was like a fucking low key Big Twan story, but. Yeah. Uh, uh, the one thing that I I film I'm pretty sure I filmed it uh, on my regular camera. I didn't put it on social media. Matt Justice is like, okay, uh, uh, we had this good fried chicken. Now I think we should all go be patriots and pay homage to the World Trade Center. And, hey. uh, so like he takes us. We, we, go, we go to Ground Zero. You know, Red and, Line Tours. And uh, Red Line Matt Tours. Justice knows New York City pretty well. Yeah, yeah Matt Justice is just whipping up. us around these trains. We're all over the place. We're going to the fucking Bowery. We're fucking. We're at the fucking Ground Zero, and uh, big fucking Twan is. Uh, he puts his hand down on the fucking names. He's like, 
outside of the World Trade Center. I said, man, this is powerful. <laughs> this is powerful. And uh, I don't know if he's probably, probably not even born. Who knows? Nah, he's born because it's 2001 and we're 2019. He's yeah, he's a he's <sighs> year, two years anyway. old. Yeah, he's yeah. 20. So uh, so then uh, we, you know, we have to go straight to the Goldsteins from there. And uh, we go to the goal. We take the train right into uh, Hoboken. Hoboken. Yeah, Hoboken. We were running we should, and gunning. Dude. We should have spent more time in Hoboken. Yeah, that was the yeah. spot. Hoboken looked fun. Yeah, it's a cool little town. A bunch of different bars. When we were taking the Uber in, every bar was packed. Yeah, outside people going nuts. It was yeah. a nice day. Yeah, was Saturday nice. was probably the best weather day that we had there. Yeah, so we fucking sure. we hit it hard at the at the Goldstein party. That was uh, awesome. Finnegan, shout club. out to the Goldsteins. Yeah, shout, shout out to, to those guys. Yeah. Uh, for Josh for, and Sam taking care of us, and uh, you know we probably overinvited, like, <laughs> but okay. There's a lot of people there. Let's not forget about WrestleCon on that Saturday. Dave the Potato shows up to the WrestleCon. <laughs> oh God! And he makes a deal with Weird Body to get his vendors pass so that he can go around and take pictures with. Oh yeah, he's these guys. He uh, schemes it up. He schemed everybody for free photo ops, I guess. And then I guess he schemed like Takamichinoku out of like some eight by tens, and in the end, it, this is an agreement that he'll pay Weird Body twenty dollars for giving him the vendor pass. And Weird Body, you know, I don't know what his what his current uh, job situation is like, is more than willing to go ahead and take this deal. Yeah. So Potato shows up to the Goldstein party, probably the highlight of the party. There's a lot of fun oh, he's stuff. Fired up. But what everyone probably saw on my social media is the potatoes meltdown on AJ Gray. <laughs> Uh, about how he's a main eventer in AIW and main stuff. Main eventer with Johnny Gargano, dude. Uh, so that's Which also uh, he throws some shade. See, I didn't know this story about WrestleCon with Weird Body, but of all people, he tries to throw shade at Weird Body during that tirade and says, "I'm main eventing with Johnny Gargano. Who are you main event with? Weird Body?" So, ooh. well, that's because uh, Dave uh, always wants a picture with me and. Uh, <laughs> I give him probably the goofiest face I could give him for this picture. And then I start asking about WrestleCon because I find out that, you know, Weird Body did this. And I said, have you paid Weird Body yet? He said, no. And then I see him take money out of his pocket. I'm like, okay. And then I just yell, Weird Body. I'm like, Dave's got your money and he's not paying you. So then that that's kind of what started it. So you were an instigator. I was an instigator. Up? Oh, man. And, uh, you know, then from, you know, that's pretty much the highlight of that party. Uh, I do find Dave the potato said he didn't have a drop of alcohol that night. <laughs> he was fired up. Weird yeah. body gets so cut telling off me. at this party. Oh, yeah, that was uh, like we were dipping out. We find we find out that he's like he is in love with Don McLean. He thinks Don McLean is the greatest ever. Loves American Pie. He plays it on the jukebox. It finally comes on. And he just goes crazy. It, he, I guess he grew up on Don McLean, so he's just going nuts. And he's drunk. I don't know that he's as drunk as you would think. No, he's just having a good time. He's just yeah, having he's a great having time, fun. and he's like that fired up about it because he, he probably waited like an hour. And it's like it, it was like it was like a private party amongst everybody you know. Yeah, everybody was, was a little looser. It was bad timing so because at that point everybody left, but the gold scenes were still very nice. And they're like, "You guys want some drink? Go downstairs, do it. We have a tab." And Weird Body goes on a drink run for people. And the owner sees this and then walks upstairs to Weird Body going crazy over Don McLean and puts it all together thinking, this small 120-pound dude just brought... 150. Oh, another thing that, w- that was funny is uh, we would make we, we made the potato tip the fucking bartender that was giving us the free drinks every time he came <laughs> he up. He should have. He wasn't. We made him, though. We, refu- we told her not to give him drinks unless he tipped. Damn. That's awesome. I threw 20 in there right off the rip. I threw, had, like, threw 20s in a lot of guys' mouths, too. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I was drunk. I was doing Million Dollar Man's <laughs> 20s. <laughs> oh, yeah. So. Uh, the gold scene party was uh, it was good. Then we think, uh, them. It was great. Worldwide uh, left on his own adventure from there, right? <laughs> yeah, what were you doing? You took off early, man. Yeah, I uh, I had tickets to an event like across the apparently River Bridge and all of hell and creation because... Uh, it was something in fucking Brooklyn near Queens or some shit. But yeah, Street Fight, fucking Chapo, and like <clears throat> other podcasts I was like doing oh shit my. on. They fucking um, fucked around. Like, you know, they had like a live show. So I was like, oh shit, I'm going to go to that fucking hang out. So we're in Hoboken. That shit's in Brooklyn. 
I'm already looking at like a sixty, seventy dollar fucking like Uber because like I'm gonna get the most and like you know hang out and like you know show appreciation. Shouts to the Goldsteins, love you guys. And uh, but like then at the same time, like I like hit up Brian and I was like, "What time show?" He's like, "Hard eight. So like our shit went from five to eight. So like then at fucking like seven, I'm like looking for this fucking Uber because I figure it's gonna take forty five minutes to an hour. First Uber pulls up, they fucking. Oh, yeah. What about your day at Orange Cassidy? Oh, I had a day at Orange Cassidy. Uh, find out about that on the Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's a teaser right there. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I'm, like, all stressed out. There are other things agitating me. I had, like, you know, if you remember, like, the kids, like, Scooby-Doo cartoon from the 80s, how they'd always try to blame uh, Red Herring. I remember Scooby-Doo. <laughs> yeah, I found my Red Herring for the uh, weekend. Okay. And uh, yeah, anytime I was mad or agitated, I just got real mad at this red herring uh, human. The group, I, the group chat was interesting, I will say. I don't even. <laughs> I, lo- I love the, the worldwide blow ups. It would be, be like radio silence. He, blo- he blows up hours. on me on Sunday. <laughs> Wait, what was the Sunday? I don't even Every remember. few hours, you get this huge. But oh, well, break. yeah. So either way, and we're not even going to get into how the fuck I got to the Goldstein's party because that's a whole other fucking story. <laughs> Did you get your belt down? <laughs> Fuck it. No, I he did not. He had a belt down via group chat. <laughs> I did not get my belt on. I did not fucking have a jacket. I didn't have a fucking phone charger in my goddamn backpack. Did you brush your teeth? Fucking... You offered me money when I showed up to the gold seat party here on the patio. You're like, Steve Guy, uh, if you want like $50 for that belt right there, uh, I'll give well, it dude, to you. I was going to flip around. Like, gonna... When we got to Hoboken, Thorne showed me a text message you sent him, and it was fucking great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I was uh, I was uh, feeling you know, a lot Can't of Can't be discussed on this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> but um, like I said, if you want like more of uh, my adventures at uh, Orange Cassidy's doing something, Look to the Patreon. But either way, so finally made their fucking, like, took a selfie with the uh, Uber driver, this great little, like, dude from, like, Nepal that was all excited for WrestleMania that he had just found out was in town when I was, like, you know, in his car. And, uh, da 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 But, yeah, so then my fucking car, my phone is, like, dying and dying. And also... Running out of energy, but also at the after party. And then at That's the fucking we'll after it. party... Like, which was at a bar, like, up the way. After party of the event you were attending? Yeah, the okay. event I was attending. It was, like, at some other, like, you know, just a little hole-in-the-wall shit bar that, like, fucking, like, 300 people showed up to. So, like, you're looking at, like, a 20-minute wait for, like, a fucking beverage. So I did, like, dumb guy thing. And I was like, well, if I got to wait for 20 minutes for a beverage, I'll just get a whiskey ginger triple. And uh, apparently I was really good at getting drinks because I definitely drank a fair amount of those for, like, probably $18 a piece. Like, you know. Oh, my God. I came in at budget, like, which really, you know, like I said. Well, you stayed you stayed in a lot, as much as you could, though, at the Airbnb. Yeah, yeah, but I was still, like, I left behind, like, so much fucking beer and Tito's at the Airbnb that I bought because I was just like, I don't know what alcohol is anymore. This is all trash. We end up going to the spring break, uh, and I get pretty drunk there, and uh, we go back to the Airbnb. Oh, that yeah, yeah. That that's where I met nice. the Brickster, but uh, Twan fucking, fucking snoozes. We're, weird body falls asleep underneath a table there at spring break. Yeah, <laughs> one of the Goldstein brothers came and continued to buy us drinks when I told him to stop. Yeah, we said stop <laughs> spending your money. Uh, Tim Dons certainly didn't stop him from spending Did money. Not. Tim Dons was taking full advantage of that. In uh, such a hurry to get some whiskey ginger doubles that taste like fucking half a single. But anyway. Uh, hey, duct tape's expensive, dude. <laughs> duct tape those boots. <laughs> but uh, fucking... Uh, it's on purpose. So then we go to, you know, we find our way back to the Airbnb. I don't even know how we get back. We had to fucking steal our car back from Hornswoggle. Oh, yeah, Hornswoggle. Yeah, Hornswoggle was taking our fucking... Uh, the Rogue, and I said, that ain't yours, dude. <laughs> <laughs> he was trying to drive all the boys That was wild. That was like a... We were there for a while after it shut down, and we were just... I was kind of, I felt bad, but I was like, dude, like, you can't be driving people yeah. to the airport. Like, I want to go back to my Airbnb and sleep, and that's our rental car. That's when we went to Hoodstop Chicken again. We went to Hoodstop Chicken. Slept through Hood Stop Chicken. You did. I, I felt bad. I should have got you a double or something. And then uh, Justice was recommending the New York cheesecake from Hoodstop yeah, Chicken. Oh, so yeah. I got it. I got it. It wasn't that bad. Yeah, he was fucking got, dude, I'm telling you, every meal that guy had in New York was chicken, fried chicken. Fried chicken. 
Uh, so then Sunday we wake up and uh, we're like, oh, let's go into the city. Let's find somewhere to watch Mania. Wow. This is where we're, <laughs> Worldwide blows up on me. Because so we're, we're, we're trying to, like, we, we assume that Worldwide is never going to make it back. Because the last thing we see is an Instagram post that says, that says 6% battery lost in New York. Please help. <laughs> and then there's, radio, there's no c- c- communication and from him. To their fucking uh, credit, uh, Rachel Millman from the WrestleSplania cast and uh, fucking she uh, saw that and hit me up and was like, blah, blah, blah. Like, I live at, like, da 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 And, like, I, like, looked it up. And then I just went into, like, some, like, Brooklyn, like, chicken shack type place at, like, 3.30 in the morning. Back to this fucking chicken. And, like, just went up and was, like, just slammed my phone through the bulletproof glass. I was like, give me the fucking number five and, like... Threw down like a fucking ten, and I was like, "Charge this fucking phone!" And then I just sullenly like <laughs> ate this fucking chicken while Christ knows what happened inside of there. I'm just like fucking like just have like insane person like eyes like just wanting Crazy my phone eyes. to fucking charge, <laughs> and I'm, like just like eating this food like waiting for like my phone to kind of charge. And then I made it back to her place, slept in the basement. It was all great. Hung out with uh, Tracy Williams' dog, lady, hell of a dog, and um. Then woke up at around 11.30 in the morning. I had, like, fucking, like, 23% battery in, like, Brooklyn. And, like, I fucking, like, I'm like, all right, I just got to start moving. So, like, then I had to make it back to Elizabeth, like, fucking New Jersey. So that fucking trip took me from 11 a.m. until about 3 p.m., Four hours. Yeah, so so this is about the time you call. We like we're like ah, let's go in. We'll go find somewhere to watch WrestleMania. Matt I just, finally make it back to the uh, Matt the Justice again is determining whether he wants to go home or not and decide. Like I, yeah, he left. Yeah, he 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 leaves. So we have no fucking tour guide. So we're trying to do the train on our own. Doctor, I just want to go to fucking it's little. Hard it, if you got a full battery, fucking. You use, I just like, want to go to little Italy and get a veal. Doctor Dan wants to go fucking doing some fucking tours. Veal scallopini. Yeah. So he wants to go to fucking Times Square. Yeah, he wants to see do Sell all some brochures. We don't even go to Times Square. Yeah, no, we see the, the back of it. We see we we walk by Madison Square Garden. MSG. We get a couple hot butter croissants on the street. Nice and uh, street meets world tour. Street meet world tour. And then uh, this is about the time my phone rings and it's worldwide. And I go, oh, he's alive. And he's like, hey, where are you at? And I said, uh, uh, we just got in the city. He goes, oh, fucking perfect. I just spent seven hours getting back to this Airbnb, and you guys aren't fucking here. Fucking great. Fucking perfect. Of course. Of course. Of course. I'm telling you my story, because the two hours. You were the only person that had plans that evening, so we didn't worry about you. Yeah. So the fucking, like. So we're like, oh, he's he, no. he has an appearance book tonight. The fucking, like, the subway to, like. The what do I got to wait for you for? To the fucking New Jersey transit line. All that, that was like two hours, like whatever, made it back to Elizabeth. By that point, I had fucking 8% battery. I'm in downtown Elizabeth and fucking like, I'm just like getting turned around in a series of fucking triangles and circles in like fucking just weird New Jersey town. And like, I'm just like, what the fuck? What the fuck? And like my fucking phone's battery's dying. So finally I'm like, all right, fuck it. Even though I'm like 1.8 miles away, I'm just going to fucking order an Uber, get the fuck back to the B&B, do the thing. So then I fucking order the Uber. 26 fucking minutes later, fucking like this Uber still hasn't showed up. Like even though it was supposed to be there fucking like five minutes later. Why don't you just try Lyft? Because I don't fucking have Lyft on my phone because I got fucked by them in fucking uh, NOLA. But anyway, so then like finally I go to fucking call this motherfucker like and be like, dude, what the fuck? You've been doing weird circles for like an hour. And as soon as it clicks, hell, fucking like my fucking phone dies. And then I'm just like... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> so I'm walking around beautiful downtown Elizabeth, uh, New Jersey on a Sunday afternoon and, you know, just little Columbia or whatever. I think it was Columbia. A lot of Colombian things happening. I don't have a fucking phone charger. It sounds okay, like a perfect place at, for you, dude. At, at, yeah. at no point did you try to find like a bodega or something? That well, yeah, I walked charger? in and fucking got a goddamn fucking charger okay. and cable. I think you stole my fucking charger. Anyway. I, I came back with no charger. Oh, well, that's funny. So did I. Some motherfuckers. Anyway. So, we all lost a lot on this fucking trip. I lost my fucking uh, wet brush 
fucking real hot about that. You lost your fucking mind. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but no, I'm fucking losing. I'm fucking having PTSD fucking private Theodore season. Oh, he's back. He right now, back. fucking recounting this fucking story because weird by wouldn't let me fucking recount this story. He is but returned. Anyway, so then I'm just walking around. So and like, I bought like this yeah. goddamn fucking, uh, I bought this motherfucking like, you know, charger and cable. And I'm like, all right, cool. There's all these fucking restaurants. I'll just walk into one of them and be like, hey, I'll get like drinks and food. Just put me at a fucking table with like, you know, a charger. And they're all just like, I know, no. And I'm just like, <laughs> so then I just started walking in a vague direction. With, like, fucking great fury and, like, fucking freezing my balls off because, like, fucking the weather is fucking turned. And I didn't it's fucking like... that bad on Sunday? Fucking, no, Sunday was bad. That was the rain day. Yeah, it got oh, it fucking... Rained, that's yeah, right. it was. And um, so no, then we had a good I fucking weather. finally um, go by, like, some, like, cube, like, fucking, like, storage spot. And I was walking in and I'm like, ma'am, can I use your GPS on your phone? I just... I know the address by heart to my Airbnb. I just don't... My phone's dead. And she gives it to me, and I'm like, God bless you. You're the fucking best of the world. And I got the fuck out of there. And like, I like half fucking sprinted to this goddamn place. But mind you, I'm doing this the whole time without a fucking belt in my pants <laughs> because somebody was in a hurry to go get some watered down free liquor. But where'd your belt go, dude? Oh, my belt was in my other pants, which like motherfuckers were like so antsy to fucking get onto the next fucking thing that I couldn't fucking take it out of my fucking pants and put it. You're a thrifty guy. I'm surprised you didn't get like a piece of string or something. And just yeah, tie the well, two fucking together. like, wait, but your pants, your your belts at the Shoot. Airbnb, See, right? You, you could have what you could have done is you could have taken that charging cord, put it between the belt loops. No, and it's not it. even long enough. It was a pe- it is a piece of shit because like it doesn't even make it through my goddamn fucking uh, case that I, I have box, on my phone. Yeah. So I had to fucking take apart my whole fucking phone to use this new piece of oh, shit man. fucking charger. <laughs> it's a whole fucking thing. My oh, life gosh. is a fucking constant struggle. <laughs> yeah, Lucha Eterna. Like- Eterna, eternal struggle, eternal fight. That's how I fucking live my life. But either way, I made it back there, charged my phone, fucking drank like half a natty, took like a half ass fucking shower, and then just turned around and got the fuck back onto the New Jersey transit line, back onto the L, and then that shit got turned around several times, and fucking. Brr, brr, brr. But then we sold a fucking shitload of shirts at uh, fucking WrestleSplania. Bless up to them. Did you have your belt at that point? Yes, I did. Then you did. Then you were all good. All we right. had an awful Sunday. Yeah, you guys had uh You should have came over, man. We fucking... Well, we didn't even know how to get to fucking... Wasabi Jones. Wasabi Jones. We fucking... Dr. Dan Tourism Tour. Yep. Well, then he decides, like, oh, let's go to just... Let's go to this place that's going to show Mania, right? At fucking 4 o'clock. So we go there. They fucking... Uh, tried to turn us away. Tried awful. to turn us away. We're not showing it yet. The pre-show's on, lady. No, yeah. we're not. We're not I'm trying to see Kurt Hawkins win the straps, lady. Right. I know yeah. what's going on early. Then they brought the manager guy up. He goes, "Okay, okay, you guys can sit down. We got prime seats. Good we, seats, right by the good seats. TV. Good seats. Place was taxed, and the food menu was decent. Whatever." And then fucking, uh, you know, TCR starts getting those mules. <laughs> TCR's still running and gunning with his fucking <laughs> Moscow mule orders. <laughs> <laughs> Moscow mules and fucking mozzarella triangles. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so and, we all get some starters, right? And, and uh, all of a sudden, it's gonna be it's gonna be a long night. So we right. get some appetizers. Right. I get a water. I'm like right. hydrating from the last two days. Yep. Uh, and then uh, the lady comes and she new goes, server. Yeah, new server. No, same server. Up. Okay. S- same lady. The lady goes, uh, okay. If you're just gonna uh, keep getting waters, you're gonna have to start buying bottles of water. Yeah. And I was like, what? Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm fucking gonna be here all night. I'm gonna order food, and then uh, I go, fine, give me a coke. Okay, so I get a coke, and then uh, Laurel and Dan Vega say that they're gonna go get a pretzel, but they're really trying to secretly go to WrestleMania. Yeah, we all it, saw w- it. Which they eventually get ripped off buying their tickets. Which I told them all day long. We'll be in touch. Don't buy WrestleMania tickets on Craigslist in New York City. See ya, you right. dummy. Don't buy anything on Craigslist. Real quick, in New York City. real quick. I'm just gonna fucking butt in here because you know, obviously, I had my bad travel day and this and that. Da, 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 da. But then you guys had a bad mania day, and I'm just gonna. Lean back here and let you know that the fucking location where we were watching on a very large screen uh, had a bodega right next to it, and they ran out of hot dogs, and they're like, yeah, you can just go get food at the bodega all night long. All I know is if I was there, I probably wouldn't have had a good time either. Good times. But anyway, that's just me like feeling a little better about myself. 
for that fucking hey, this was a good insane story, Sunday. Yeah, good. This is this is a good story. On the come up, dude. We're still coming up. So uh, we got to go through the peak to get to the. So uh, uh, to get I go give peak, me. Whatever, so you know so Laurel and her boyfriend leave. See ya. Uh, so they go. Oh, uh, if you're not gonna use all the seats at your table the entire duration of WrestleMania, we're putting two people at your table. <laughs> that was fucked up. <laughs> so they just put two strangers at her table, right. uh, and they say if your friends come back, we'll uh, we'll reevaluate. Said they're the making scene. a phone call, lady. She's <laughs> like, no, we gotta <laughs> replace them, and then Irish you know. Like yeah, right, but we read it. So, uh, Dr. Dan at this point starting to make moves though on the cell phone. <laughs> yeah, he started looking because we're all fired up. We, go, we gotta get the hell out of here. He's calling, he's calling different bars saying, like, see, gotta, if they, <laughs> <laughs> see, if, see if they'll play WrestleMania. Do you have a Roku? <laughs> Well, no, so, no, no, no. Put it on the Roku. I got eight people. No, he goes. We'll bring eleven people to your bar right now. We show WrestleMania. They go. Yeah, we'll put it on. What? And then I go. What are I go, you talking about? I go, Dan. I go. What are they going to show it on? Do they have a Roku box? <laughs> like, how are they going to get the WWE Network? And he goes. Oh, hold on one second. One second. Do you guys got a Roku or a Chromecast? It, it, <laughs> and you're serving food, right? I got eleven people. This is, this yeah, is Dr. Dan. Swear to God. <laughs> I got an account. I can, I can log you right in. <laughs> He's calling the for fucking rumor fucking auto body. They could have just, <laughs> just bought the paper. Maybe that's still a thing. Well, they would have. Oh, oh, no. Hell yeah. no. Yeah, you have to fucking pay like 10000 And I just yeah. can only imagine the little spots if, if you have on around like, our crib. TV and shit. You have yeah, to pay yeah, per yeah. square foot if you're a yeah, business. So Dr. Dan hangs up and he says, all right, we're good. Good for eight. So, so, uh. Anyway, fucking, <laughs> we're not good. But uh, <laughs> no, we're not good at all. But, but this lady, this lady's just rude, right? The, so it's we just want to leave. So we get her tab. We go cash this out, and Big Twan's eyes light up. Yeah, and he goes fifty five dollars coming. I knew this was coming. <laughs> and then we go, what you get? He goes five dollars. And he goes, I got a Coke and nachos. And uh, she goes, Well, no, you had more than one Coke. And I no free refills. Five dollars per coke in this place. Uh, and I go, well, I had. She only charged me for one. I said, well, I had cokes, and but I was like, I'm not paying fucking five dollars per coke. And she's like, well, we do this every time. And I was like, well, I've never fucking been here before. Yeah, we'll see ya. And then she goes, yeah, oh, exactly. then she goes, oh, I don't worry about the cokes. I was, I was pissed. Yeah. So then uh, she take care of Twans too. Yeah, she I took care so. of Twans. I mean, yeah, it was. Uh, and uh, fucking, then we're just like. Well, uh, Dr. Dan's fucking Roku calls aren't working out. <laughs> so uh, we just said, it's a wash. Let's just take the fucking train back to the Airbnb. Yeah, let's get back ASAP. There's a we'll road. Order food. There's a. There's I'll a get hood shaking. I'll stop. I was, well, I was yelling at cool Dr. Dan that. all day because I wanted to he go to the veal scale. Pizza. I wanted to go get a fucking veal parmesan in fucking Little Italy, and Dr. Dan was fucking fucking around, wanting to look at fucking <laughs> Times Square. So Times Square. Square. Times Square. That's, we, didn't, we didn't get near it though. We we're did it. We were at the Van. We, saw, we, we passed the Five Guys outside of Times Square. That was it. And uh, what's it called? Five Guys Entertainment. Yeah. Nice. And uh, fucking. So we take the train back because we know we got a Roku at the fucking Airbnb. We'll zip. We'll get food. We go to the wrong train. Yeah. Some yeah, lady so starts some giving some lip. Comes. Off Z. rip. Sitting down. Got the fucking WrestleMania fired up on the phone. We're just waiting, waiting for, for our train. train. Right back to New Jersey. Lady, almost there, New boys. Yorker, another what the hell are you guys doing down here? I'm like, lady. Guys, get back up there. I'm like, like, what train you... doesn't leave from here. <laughs> we don't know. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> and this is pretty much where... I, we start to say, I think WrestleMania weekend is coming to a close for yep. us. This is it. Uh, we get back to the Airbnb. We order up some fucking Italian food. Dr. Dan goes. <laughs> <laughs> Cash only. We were there forever. Well, Dr. Right? Dan was we're still waiting. Dr. We Dan, start eating each other. Dr. Dan's still on the, oh, I got it, guys. Just, <laughs> I got it. You know, <laughs> We run up like a fucking $150 tab of food. Yeah. Pizza, spaghettis. Yeah. Everyone got a little bit of this, a little bit of that. No, no veal chicken parmesan. Because we called Dan and they starts, had the wrong menu. Dr. Dan starts on up the California <laughs> Yeah. It's going to get the mozzarella triangles. You wanted the triangles from there, too. <laughs> there you go. Uh, Let's start Cali menu. Sorry. Uh, so anyway, Dr. Dan gets there. They say cash only. <laughs> Dr. Dan <laughs> says me. What's his Hi. response? Yeah, here's his response. Hi. He goes, all right, fine. I'll go get cash. Make me a salad. They said, okay, that'll be an extra 19 bucks. Make me a pepperoni salad. <laughs> you want a salad pepperoni just with like, yeah, pepperoni you want a regular salad. salad, like a side salad with pepperoni and they bacon. Said 20. He said, they said 20, pal. Yeah, they said it'd be 19. So he goes to the barbershop. They're closed. Has to go around the corner, finds the ATM. What the hell did he need to go to a barbershop for? Because that was the guy who needed the ATM. ATM was Cash closed. only. Oh, the ATM. Okay. So then, 
Get we it. just eat. We want. We fall asleep watching WrestleMania, and then we have early flights to. We have early LaGuardia flights, yeah. and that's pretty much the end of our trip. I uh, did anything happen? I had, had a little talk with Worldwide in the morning. <laughs> oh yeah? yeah, Monday. Remember? No. When we woke up and he's fucking groggy <laughs> as shit. Wasn't speaking words. Uh, <laughs> fuck man. <laughs> fuck man. <laughs> I'm like what? What happened, man? He's like, I fucking ate the transit, man. I was in the fucking transit for five hours, sleeping on a bench. <laughs> Couldn't even talk. <laughs> <laughs> this spot on. My fucking voice was wrecked. <laughs> Like, so that also when I was in downtown fucking Elizabeth trying to like, you know, like talk to like hostesses at fucking like restaurants and bars, I was talking like this. So they already couldn't understand what I was saying. But then I was like, (laughs) why when your voice gets raspy, do you get an accent? He said, uh, all right, man, you guys getting out of here. (laughs) All right. Have a good time. Have a good flight home, man. Dude, boy, let me tell you what a good choice it was for me to get my own separate Airbnb. No, it was a fucking perfectly wrong choice because you, you could like there fucking either? there Why? was there Why? were all sorts so, of unpartying motherfuckers no, that were no, able no, to no, like, no. Fuck, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. We were upstairs. I heard more. Good boys. I heard more than enough reports from many people who said that even had I been in the basement, there would have been zero fucking chance that there would have been any quiet, would have been any peace, anything. And after Thursday, no, night, I slept a I lot. I was fucking yeah. dead. I slept a lot. After Thursday night, I was fucking It wasn't dead. loud. It was just people in the kitchen. But after everybody left, there was, was bitching a, in the kitchen. open man. all over the place. Yeah. Trevor like, sleeping in Dan's bed. What did Dan, how did Dan say to you? The fucking wrestling. I, uh, I I crunched the numbers because I actually, in the hey, process of uh, writing the AIW zine, it's finally <laughs> going go. down, folks. What are we doing? I made a fucking timeline. <laughs> fucking five days, 21 hours of sleep. <laughs> and then Monday and Tuesday... 26 hours of sleep. DCR. DCR with the <laughs> early wake up. Get up. I'm like, what? Dude? Oh. I'm f- you know, we probably got back at like five every night, literally. <laughs> wake up, dude. <laughs> What's up, man? We got to get up. We got to get moving. We're going. This was Sunday, I think. <laughs> All we had was Veal Scalpini and WrestleMania. We could have killed two birds, one stone in Hell's Kitchen. Get up. What the fuck I'm time like, is dude, it? Yeah, I'm like, dude, let me go back to fucking sleep. It's like 1030 in the morning. Like, what the fuck do we have to do? Let's go. Let's yeah, Come on. Hey, shout out to Dr. Dad. He was able to crack that whip and be out. that dad. <laughs> so that's pretty much our trip. And, uh, yeah, we this is a long up. extent. We, we drove back up to LaGuardia and fucking... I think we just sat in the airport terminal and fucking laughed. For oh, like two hours. me and Weird Body had a hell of a fucking experience getting back from the uh, the Mania viewing party. That's what he was just talking about. You're sleeping on a bench. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> fucking and oh wait, I'm gonna tell a fucking story. All right, so picture a thicker Weird Body. All right, me and Weird Body like fucking we're in like Penn Station at like three, two, three in the morning. Our fucking train doesn't come back to Jersey until like four fourteen in the morning. So I'm like. All right, I'm going to go get a sandwich from this place, and we'll just, like, fucking, like, piece up, like, on this, like, fucking counter space, like, inside of this shitty place in Penn Station, and, like, whatever. This dude walks in, looks like Dom's size, but, like, weird body's hair, and, like, fucking, like, facial hair arrangement, and, like, he's just, like, fucking motherfuckers, fucking blah, 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 and he's, like, talking to every beverage in the fucking rack behind us. He's, like, alcohol, no, I don't need any more of that fucking poison, like, this, that... Da, 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 da. Finally, he's like, oh, orange juice. That's that shit. And this is after he got really mad that they didn't have some flavor of San Pellegrino. So either way, he buys his orange juice, and he fucking leaves. I, like, eat, finish my turkey sandwich or whatever, you know. And fucking, like, we're like, all right, whatever. Let's just go pass out against this fucking column for a while. There's our orange juice, brother. Like, just sitting Indian style against the wall, like, fucking, like, staring at his orange juice. And then this fucking dude comes along that has like giant gangrenous like foot like sticking out of a fucking like you know like wheelchair you see some fucked up shit in new york city i'm just yeah. gonna say that right king now. of the fucking like homeless like he was like the homeless like fucking vice squad or some shit because he was like just going along and just kicking homeless people sleeping with his like one good foot and then finally he fucking comes up and like orange juice brother's sitting there and like dude just picks up his like down to like fucking like millimeters like cigarette butt and like Orange Juice Bro's like, bro, that's mine. Give it back. He's like, fuck you. You're homeless. You're a piece of shit. Blah, blah, blah. And he looks over at us. He's like, 
you're not homeless, you're just fucking tourists, fuck you. And, like, then goes back, and, like, this dude is just having this fucking, like, life and death struggle with this, like, fucking, like, look like saw, killer clowns from outer space I ass, like... Saturday night, dude, dude in fucking, like... In Manhattan. He was the fucking king of the fucking, like, and, like, this dude is, like, just, like, give me that fucking cigarette back. And I was like, dude, I'll give you a fucking cigarette. By the way, came in perfect on my fucking cigarette budget. 12 packs of cigs in fucking God. six Thank days. God. 12 packs of cigs in th- four days. Six oh, days. Wow. But sick. either way, yeah, we saw some shit fucking like those fucking cops like at fucking Penn Station. There was some dude that just built like a weird like hut and I think was like trying to cook in like one of the fucking stalls. Like just like piles of blankets. Like the cops are just banging on the fucking door. Like get the fuck out of this fucking thing. Some dude's like shaving his head with a pair of scissors. He's just bleeding from his scalp all over the place. Like just shirtless. And then he's just walking around and we're like, all right, maybe not fall asleep against this column. But yeah, either way. Yeah. If you ever want to go real hard, fucking Penn station at 3 a.m. New York city is not that cool. No, it sucks. Yeah. <laughs> weird spot yeah i'm not that big on it yeah new york's all right if you like saxophones everybody's fucking mean yeah nick sinker did did the first fucking subway performers he saw he tipped them first one mark (laughs) had to person out i did hear there was uh some motherfuckers that hit like some really amazing jazz that like fucking chilled my shit out on the subway it was on the way back to elizabeth fucking like i was here like and like they had, like, a fucking drum track going, but besides that, they had, like, a stand-up bass and, like, fucking trumpet and, like, some other shit. And, like, the fucking, like, uh, reverb and everything of, like, the subway fucking platform sounded amazing. And I was like, yeah, it's all right. I might make it home one day, but, you know, this is cool. I could, like, ride this right here. Because also, that's going to stress the fuck out in subways, man. <laughs> Way awesome. back in the day when you could fucking rip heaters inside, but now, like, you know. Yeah. Fuck that. Well, that's a great ending right there. That was it, man. That was our trip. <sighs> what well, a weird, wild Wasabi trip. Jones. Hopefully Shout you guys... Uh, Jones. Hopefully everybody enjoyed this long Travis tale. Travis check in the mail. Shout out to Wasabi Jones. This is a long, you know. long one to sit through, but... Uh, Real quick, Steve. A lot of peaks and values. What was the fucking values. outfit this year? Yeah. Because last uh, year was the mess shirts. Fact or fiction? You know, I'd love to tell you guys about it, but I wouldn't want to one-up anybody. <laughs> so we'll, nice. So for Dom Greeny, Dr. Dan, nice. Nick Zanka, Wes Barkley. It's like that. Man. Alex Worldwide Keller and John Thorne. My name's Steve Guy. We'll talk to you next week right here on The Card is Going to Change. I ain't going to the fucking bar, dude. <laughs>